You're the best. You're the last. My everything. Virgin Hotels says they have presented the Culinary Union with, quote, their last, their best, and final offer yesterday. Wow. We are down to the end of the rope for Virgin. Wow. Very exciting. What happens now? Do this, does the Culinary Union accept it? If they don't, is it just a massive strike? And do they just hire non-union employees? I don't know. Who knows? It's a nice little... Very case, uh, you know, case law we're making here should be very fun to yeah. watch uh, what uh, develops there. My goodness gracious. Uh, we talked about it yesterday. A very tragic ending. 44-year-old substitute teacher at Becker Middle School accused of slipping love notes to a 14-year-old student has died. What? Nicholas Bott arrested May 16th due in court next month, but two days later he took his own life. Wow. He admitted in an interview with police, quote, if he was in the parent's shoes, he would want to kill somebody. And he did. So there you go. Wow. Yeah, I was shocked when I saw that. And so wow. that happened before we even talked about it yesterday, but the news came but out yesterday in. afternoon. Uh, my goodness. Dang. Yeah. That's, uh, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Everything must go, and they mean it. Tropicana Las Vegas selling out the rest of their stuff with a fill a truck liquidation sale on Saturday and Sunday. 25 bucks, you can fill a pickup truck. 100 bucks, you get a box truck, boom. Fill it up for 100 bucks. Whatever, whatever's available, just take it, put it in the box, and drive. They want huh. everything out. You just want to peruse, it's 20 bucks. Stories on our website at 1027bgs.com, but they got everything from pool and room furniture to a baby grand piano, a whole bunch of linens, the whole deal. So Very interesting. Yeah. I don't know if I'd want the linens, to be honest. I mean, it depends. Like, is, is, uh, is it for, like, the table, for the for the banquet thing? Like, is it one of those? Yeah. Is it clean? You know, is it bleachable? Yeah. It reminds me of uh, at 7-Eleven when you can bring in anything Any for cup? a Slurpee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It should be required to clean it first. <laughs> yeah. Gross. Uh, Henderson, man, Henderson's... Phew, they're having a massive glow up in Henderson. Man, they got an arena. Mm -hmm. They're getting all this. They, like, it just seems to be so much going on there. Yeah. And now a sick new $70 million sports and entertainment complex being proposed near St. Rose and Maryland Parkway, which feature two stories, 180,000 square feet of indoor basketball, volleyball, pickleball courts, indoor turf for soccer and indoor football and lacrosse, and potentially more like bowling and laser tag and like uh, go-karts potentially like crazy. Yeah. It's a public-private partnership with a company called Kemper Sports that does some of this in other parts of the country as well. Uh -huh. uh, but it would be for... It'll be for everyone, but Henderson, uh, people that live in Henderson will get 20% off awesome. for anything there, which would be mm -hmm. excellent. So very, cool. very, very cool for Henderson. Uh, Mountain's Edge, looking at you. <laughs> By the way, I walked into the Mountain's Edge HOA office yesterday because my subdivision is doing some funky stuff with the gate. I'm going to talk about it uh -huh. later. But man, oh man, ooh, I'm going down now. Now I'm using the HOA for, for good, not <laughs> yeah. for evil. Uh, parents and students bummed after hearing Durango High will be dumping their choir program next year. School says just simply not enough interest. Only around 40 students expressing interest next year. They have about 70, I think, in the class this year. Uh, therefore, they will not dedicate a full-time choir teacher for the program. Wow. They will offer it, though, as a club or a class. Parents and students are asking the school district to reconsider. It's so. sad. You see a lot of music going away, which is really sad. It's always the arts first. Yeah. And it's like the arts that really are like the one thing that really should stay. Right. You know. Right. Exactly. Uh, yeah. AI is not teaching the arts. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, lifeguard waivers to many Valley gyms going to be lifted come June. Pools at Las Vegas Athletic Club and EOS Fitness and Sterling Club and more are going to have to hire a lifeguard or close until they do. 19 gyms in total will be affected. Wow. UFC Fit is actually one of them in uh, Centennial, and they are hiring one so they can hopefully have a lifeguard before they would have to close the pool. But it's uh, going to be a, a bit of a thing there. I was actually, so when with the number 19, I feel like there'd be more, but maybe because not all gyms U.S. have. have yeah, 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 they yeah. have all have pools. Uh, a couple weeks ago, Dirt Dog on South Rainbow had a meet and greet with Bluey. Remember, okay. remember that? Yeah. That was kind of went so yeah. semi-viral. Fox 5 is talking about like it's breaking news. Uh, that event brought hundreds of people to the small venue, and Bluey was a total knockoff. Like, my goodness gracious. It was handmade. It was not yeah, good. Yeah, this yeah. is not the real Bluey, not the real thing. Families were angry. Kids were, like, mortified. And the restaurant said they'd make it right. So June 9th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., they're going to do it again. And this time, they have summoned the real Bluey. Wow. We'll be there with face painters and the whole shebang. And they said, just bring water and wear sunscreen and 
They're going to have Mr. We're out talking there. to you, Bluey. Pre- pre- yeah, prepare for lines because uh-huh. it, it was a madhouse. Like, they, they thought they, was just, they were just sending it out to their Facebook fans. It, thousands of people RSVP'd for it. Wow. Insane. And if yeah. you see the parking lot for that, it fit, can not, barely not fit ready for it, right. It's ridiculous. Uh, the Sphere voting officially open for the Sphere Exo Student Design Challenge now through June 5th. The public can vote on which elementary, middle, and high school and college designs will be displayed on the Sphere. Two from each one of those categories I love that. will end up on the Sphere. A link on our website at 1027VGS.com. Las Vegas Aviators lost to Tacoma last night, 14-10. Their next games are doubleheader in Tacoma. Games two and three of the six-game series today. Las Vegas weather. We're going to copy and paste from yesterday. It is currently 64, high of 88.